Hey guys, Isaac here with Diamond Billiard Products, here to show you what you'll get when you get one of our ball polisher replacement carpet kits and how to install it. Today I'm going to be showing you what you get in the dual polisher kit. Uh, if you have a single ball polisher, you'll be getting the exact same things, just only one set instead of two. So in your kit, you'll receive two new sprockets that are ready to go. Once you have this process done, you can just set them in there. Two new pieces of sidewall carpet. Two new pieces for the base plate. And two new sets of Velcro to glue into the sidewall. What you'll need to do this, you'll need a 5 30 seconds Allen wrench, a razor blade, and contact cement. So when you start, there will be four of these bolts in there. They are, if you ever need to replace them, a one quarter by 20 by one and a half. So you'll take your Allen wrench, Remove the two on the back side as well, and we'll be ready to pop the top off. Alright, once you've got the bolts out, you're ready to pop the top off. So it comes right off, and the first thing is to remove the carpet that is Velcroed inside the sidewall. Now in your kit, if you have the dual, you'll get two separate pieces. One is wider than the other. You'll see which side it goes in. One platter is obviously deeper than the other, so you'll know the corresponding one to put in there. So you pull it right out. And then you want to remove the Velcro strip that is glued into the ball polisher. So I'm going to remove the rest of this Velcro strip and then we're going to show you how to replace it from there and also how to replace the platter. Once you have the Velcro out from the inside, you're going to want to put some contact cement, that's what we recommend, on the inside here so it can start to get tacky. Would recommend doing this on the table away from the ball polisher so you don't chance getting any glue on the ball polisher. All right, so while that gets tacky, I'm going to set it to the side. And we're going to take our replacement Velcro strip. So we're doing the deeper of the two platters. And we're going to get some glue on it so it can start getting tacky as well. Okay, while that glue sets up a little bit, we can remove the platters carpet, so it'll peel right off. Discard this. And we're going to use the same contact cement on this plate to start letting it set up as well.
Take one of your replacement pieces, make sure you use the bottom side, you'll be able to tell top from bottom. Get a little glue on this as well. You're not trying to soak this carpet piece, just a little bit to help adhere it there to the plate. So we're going to set that down, let it get tacky for a second. And we can start on putting the pieces back into the top. So you'll take the replacement Velcro piece, try to get this where you guys can see it, and I'm going to start placing it and run it all around the inside. of the sidewall. Now you have a little overlap and this is where you need to have a razor blade because you want to cut off the excess that's right here so these will line up and be flush. If you don't have them flush and you have an overlap, you can get a bump in there that the balls will hit when they spin around. So I have the new Velcro in there. I'm going to let it set up for just a second before we place the carpet in there. By this time, I can take my replacement pad, glue side down, and place it on to the platter. Again, you want to take your razor blade and cut off the excess around the top. So have that done let this sit for a few minutes to get set. I think this one's going to be already good to go ahead. So I will take my wide strip because I'm using the deeper of the two platters and I'll start placing it. You want it to butt up against this rim, not overlapping it, but up against it. And again, just when we put the inside in, there will be some overlap on this strip. You want to cut it where it will be flush. Discard the extra. Make sure you have this pressed in. And there's going to be a little overhang here at the bottom. We're going to trim that out with our razor as well. You can just take it and run it right along the base of the platter and get a cut all the way along the bottom.
Once you have that done, if you have the dual polisher, just repeat the same process for the other side. If you have the single, you're ready to go. Place the top back on, get your bolts back in, place your new sprocket that came with it in there, and you're ready to go. If you have more questions, feel free to contact us here at Diamond. Thanks, guys.